Just imagine what life would be like in your call centre if all your agents could eliminate the need to have to do copy and paste forever. Let me show you what your agents do every single day. They'll have maybe one or two applications open, maybe four, five or six. And in this case, we're going to bring up a record in this application because we want to place an order for a customer. So Jane Automation has called in, wants to place an order. So in good old fashioned technical world, we're going to copy and paste information. I've practiced this a bit, so I'm quite quick. But it's still taking me seconds and multiple seconds on every single call, day in, day out, to move information over from one application to another. I may attempt to move data over without actually um, a copy and pasting it. So maybe the phone number, I try to type it in 574-753-7451. Uh, of course, the obvious mistake, but I don't notice that. Because the computer is being has all the information at its fingertips, but we're training the agents up to do copy and paste. Why cannot the computer move the data between these two applications? Using OpenSpan, you truly can eliminate copy and paste forever. Let me show you how. I have OpenSpan Studio up and running on my screen here. I've told it there are two applications that we want involved in uh, this uh, user process improvement process, specifically to eliminate copy and paste. So all I need to do is to tell OpenSpan to go look at that customer screen it brings the customer screen up for us. And in this case, we can go and flag each of the items that an agent would interact with. In this case, username, first name, last name, address, city, state, and zip. We'll just do those few fields. But you can see in 30 seconds, I've added those one, two, three, four, five, six fields to my library. So that's what I'm gonna do first of all, is to eliminate copy and paste between those six fields. Now let me go and do the same thing to the orders screen. So if I select the orders application, I'm going to interrogate that. That brings up the order application that the users typically interact with. I'm going to do the same thing. I need to interact with the first name, the last name, the address field, and the city, and the state, and the zip. Now I could go on and do lots of other things like automatically pull the phone number out of the CTI switch or automatically move special instructions over to the notes field but I'm going to keep it very simple for this demonstration. So now we've got those objects added to our library as well. So in less than two minutes, I've created a way to do this. Now let me go out and actually do it. I'm going to go to one of our automation templates, which is blank because I'm starting from scratch. And I'm going to specify from the CRM application that whenever any of the text changes in any of these fields, I want to move it over to the, win uh, to the web application, the, basically the order screen. So let me pick each of these objects. And as we do that, what I need is the text change event from each of those objects. So I'm going to drag over the text change event from the address. I need it from the city. This basically means whenever the text changes in any of these fields, I want to fire an automation in OpenSpan to move the data from each of these fields over to the other application. So let me just drag all six of those over. So let me just do city, uh, sorry, state and zip now, text change, and then the zip code as well. So now this is going to fire six different events at different times. And what I need for each of these objects is I actually need the text property. I need the text property for the address. I need the text property for city. I need the text property for the first name, last name, the state. I'll move these down a little bit so you can actually see this. And also, of course, last but not least, for zip code. So now I've set up the events I'm going to fire. Now let me go down to my web application and bring over for each of these the address field from the orders application, the phone number from the, uh, in fact we don't need the phone number, we just need the city, we need the first name, we need the last name, we need the state, and last but not least again we need the zip. And now all I need to do is join the dots. A yellow line shows the workflow. When the address changes on the Windows application, move the address over to the web application. When the address changes on city, move the city over to the web application, and so on. And we're doing this for each and every one of these objects. The yellow shows the workflow. In this case, I'm not adding any rules or any other um, details here. I'm just quite simply setting it up. So whenever the text changes in one application, it will automatically move the, the text over to the other application. So that's it, we're done. In under three minutes, 
We build an automation. So now when the users launch these applications, and I'm going to have OpenSpan launch those applications for us, it's actually going to um, build a template from, from this day forward. Whenever you need to um, process an order from a, uh, a customer screen, you do not need to man manually enter that data again. So let me show you how this works. So here's the application. Let me minimize the studio. Here's the web application we had before, exactly the same application. Here's the Windows application we had before, exactly the same. We've changed no business logic at all. The only difference now is when I bring up a record 2001 and click search, you can see instantly those fields have moved over to this system. And that, my friends, is the way OpenSpan works. Eliminate, copy, and paste forever. Just one example of the hundreds and hundreds of use cases of how automation can eliminate the wasted time and put back real money in your pockets for your enterprise.